Hi guys, this is Yeti the Sammy Ed, and I'm Yeti's mom. Welcome to Yeti's Place. Well, on this channel, we talk about what excites and energizes Yeti by posting videos just like this one. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, and check out the links down below. Let's get started. So how do you train a Sammy Ed? Mom, I have his treats right here. And of course, look at him right now. He's like, oh boy, mom has treats. Oh boy, this is great. I've owned Sammy's for, for quite a number of years, and they've been in my family for decades. And we still have not figured out how to train Sammy's. They are an extremely independent breed. They always like to do their own thing. They love treats. They also really love playing. Treats only hold their attention for so long because they get bored and they want to do other things. They have better things to do with their time than to just sit there and munch on treats and to listen to people tell them commands. Now it doesn't mean that they're not smart at all because they are the most intelligent breed that I have ever met. It's just that they're very independent and they want to do what they want to do when they want to do it. So you make training a game for a Sammy Ed. Like you involve playtime. And with training Sammies, you always have to keep them on their toes. You can never do the same thing again and again and again because they get bored. And when they get bored, they leave. Because we had Yeti in confirmation training at one time, which was the dog show training. Yeti didn't want to listen to me. He wanted to go play with the other dogs and the other dogs didn't want to play with him really. So the trainer actually took Yeti and she decided, you know, after working with him for a few minutes that your dog is untrainable. They're extremely, extremely intelligent, however. So don't mix that up with them not wanting to listen to people commands. Pointy ears, which he has, that means that they're highly intelligent. They feel like doing their own thing is much better than you making them do what you want them to do. The thing that you have to do when you're training a Sammy is you have to make it a game. You have to make it fun and enjoyable for them. Yeti is a member of the working class of dogs and working dogs love to work. All Sammy Eds get excited whenever they have to, to work hard for whatever they're doing. And when they work hard, you have to reward them by giving them treats, by, by congratulating them in wonderful ways that feel enjoyable to the dog. When we got Yeti, you know, he was one of four pups born in his litter. He had a brother and two sisters. Yeti's breeder decided to keep one of his sisters. And she and I were talking about, oh my goodness, Yeti is, is not very good at, at being trained. She said that one of his sisters is not very good at being trained either. And she's been breeding Sammy Eds for over 50 years. So she knows about the, the breed and even she was struggling trying to train the, the female dog. It might just be something within Yeti's litter that you know they were all stubborn, a little bit more stubborn than, than they usually are. Or it could just be something with the Sammy Ed breed. If anyone else figures out a great way to train these guys, please let me know. Because I've tried everything with this pup and the only thing that excites him really and that gets him to come to me is if I have treats. See, look at him, how he sits up. <laughs> so the treats get him to respond and telling him, Yeti, let's go film YouTube. Zoom, and he runs to in, into here. And then he just hangs out with his mom, cuddles with his mom, waits for his mom to give him treats, waits for his mom to cuddle with him, and waits for his mom to turn on the camera. So thank you very much for joining us tonight. Be sure to subscribe to Yeti's Place channel. This guy right here, he is Yeti the Sammy Ed, and I'm Yeti's mom. And thank you so much for joining us. 